now you gotta do me a favor. Don't give up on me. I know you didn't close to it. And I'm gonna prove it. Continue, Mr. Slater. Continue, yes. Of course, we'll continue. Have to, right? Can I ask you a question? You have, um... You have a family? You got kids? As a matter of fact, I do. It's the best, isn't it? Maybe you understand them, and I, I know... When I married Kendall over here, I... Thought I loved her with all my heart. And, um... Uh, Turns out I was wrong, because when she gave birth to those two boys, I loved her more. Great mother, incredible mother. She, uh, she loved those kids so much. Wild abandon, she'd do anything for them. And they, those two boys, they've been through a lot, and, uh, hadn't been for Kendall, they wouldn't be here right now. And I know that's... It's not what we hear. I, I know. I get it. And I'm not asking you anything. I'm just wanting you to... just wanting you to, to understand a little bit, you know. You, you say you have kids yourself, so you must know how it feels, how it would feel if, if somebody just took one of them away from you. And not because it was time or because some some horrible accident, but because of someone's greed. So you think that kind of greed would put a gun in anyone's hand? And that's why Kendall was there that night. Not, not because she wanted to kill somebody, but because she was grieving for a boy. My father was happy and loving and hopelessly optimistic. He saw the good in everything and everyone he was also extremely forgiving I've always believed in an eye for an eye but my nephew was right uh, while a lethal injection might make my day that's not what Stuart would have wanted. The fact is, that bullet wasn't meant for Stuart. My brother is dead because of me, because of my mistakes. And I will feel the guilt every day for the rest of my life. I can't bring Stuart back. But I can honor his memory by carrying out his wishes. So, Your Honor, I would like to ask this court for leniency. Stuart may have forgiven his killer, but make no mistake, I do not. You all keep talking about the intended victim and how we should take pity on Kendall because, after all, Stuart wasn't supposed to die. <clears throat> Kendall meant to shoot Adam. I don't care what was supposed to happen. My husband is gone forever. And it's because of you you may have shot one bullet, but you killed two of us that night. And you all keep talking and talking about what Stuart would want. Well, we'll never know what Stuart would want, will we? Because he's dead! Damn it, doesn't anybody care? Oh, no, please. 
Please, go away from me. You're the worst of all, defending the woman who killed my husband. You make me sick, Lysa. You all Mom. make me sick just Mom. standing here pleading and huddling here pleading for mercy. When that cold-blooded monster showed none of it. Oh, my God, she just left him there, lying on the ground while the light and the life seeped out of him. Well, where was your mercy then, Kendall? I hope you suffer for every second of every minute of the rest of your miserable life. And when you die, I hope you rot in hell. Well, just uh, be prepared. We may not know for a few days. We're gonna know a lot quicker than that. Sorry about my mother. She's in pain. The things that she said about Kendall, I know that deep down inside that she doesn't believe that. The only thing that matters now is what the judge believes. Judge Peterson is ready for you now. from a number of witnesses today, and there was quite a lot of talk about forgiveness. I listened closely, Mrs. Slater, to what everyone had to say, and I've taken their statements into account. But the fact of the matter is, you've pled guilty to murder in the first degree. And despite extenuating circumstances, which I understand are very real, the law remains quite clear. I've reached my verdict. Will the defendant please rise? <laughs>